Leslie Langdon with Unity TV. This is episode 10 and we're using Webster's Pages stamp. Call me from Unity Stamp Company and here it is here. And we're going to be stamping and making our own little address book. Okay, using Unity packaging. Okay, so if you have this around, which I'm sure you do, some Unity packaging, we're going to turn this into an address book. All right, stay with me. Okay, so here's the idea that you take your Unity packaging that comes with your lovely stamps and you cut it so about three and a quarter by four and a quarter you want to cut yourself a rectangle here. Um, for the inside of the notebook you want to take index cards and cut them directly in half. So usually they're around six inches long, six by four, so you want to cut it in half so you'll have a three inch by four inch piece of paper. So that will be all your insides here. Okay? So I'm going to set this aside yet because before we bind it with our bind it all, we want to decorate um, the top of our book. So I'm going to take some paints. These are um, Shimmer's paints. I'm going to use Tickle Me Turquoise and Espresso, so a blue and a brown. And I'm going to paint all around the um, acetate there. Okay, and if you get some on the acetate, just wipe it off. This doesn't have to be perfect. I like messy, but essentially what you want to do is cover up all that writing because you don't want to see that. So this is a great way if you're into recycling, take that packaging and turn it into something cool. You can give these away as gifts. Okay, so next I'm going to go right into my brown. I'm just going to highlight some brown here and there. around the acetate. Okay, so there's our front. Now you can do the same to the back if you want. Um, you know, there's the, the back give it all meaning. So if you want to paint over that you can. I think it's kind of cute. But perhaps I'll use that for the inside or the outside. I'll see. I'll see when I bind my book what I feel like doing. Okay, so this paint is going to dry, but you can go ahead and do your stamping. So use a stays on ink, a solvent ink to stamp on the acetate. So we'll use our lovely Webster's Pages stamp, Call Me. Uh, so I'm going to use a stays on ink, Timber Brown, to match what we're doing so far. So you just want to ink up your stamp. I recently just re-inked this pad so it's nice and uh, wet. Okay, so try and center the stamp in the middle of the acetate. Just press firmly. Try not to move because the stays on ink tends to slip a little bit on the acetate, so be as still as possible. And then lift off. Cute. Okay, so there you have that. You can envision what it's going to come together looking like. Okay, with that at the back. So I'm going to go bind this all together. Okay, so I'm back and I've, I've bound my book, so it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, but um, to dress it up a little bit, I thought about taking a Copic marker. This is BG09. So what you do is to color in the phone, or a little bit, let's try the words first and see if we can see the color coming through. So just color on the acetate. Okay. And then just see, you know, when we turn it over, we'll see the color coming through. Okay. So let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks really cool. Actually, that looks a lot better. Okay, you'll see better in the pictures. Um, I thought about taking some vintage photo um, distress stickles and maybe going around the edges of the frame. And you can be messy if you want. That's, the distress stickles, stickles tend to come out a little uh, thicker than the regular stickles. So 
so you're not going to get as much control. Alright, so that'll dry actually kind of flat. Right now it looks poofy, but it'll actually dry nicer than that, and you'll see in the pictures. Um, and then just to finish it off, I'm going to add a button with some twine, which you'll see um, in the pictures. And alright, thanks for watching. I hope you try this. It's a good way to recycle your Unity packaging. Alright, take care.